boys. This may as well be a follow-up on the last video I did on this. As many of you know, Twitch is a uh, garbage website that's currently doubling down on, uh, well, uh, contracting as many digital SEDs as it can muster with an update on their uh, new TOS following backlash of the previously incredibly vague TOS. Twitch updates their sexual content policy, otherwise known as releasing the hounds. And by hounds, we mean all the garden tools. Dude, Twitch is a digital brothel. It wants the moolah and is essentially either trying to muscle in on the OnlyFans market or at the very least be a gateway drug to it. Look at this. Twitch updated their sexual content policy. Changes certain content now allowed with labels, artistic nudity, permitted under sexual themes label, game nudity, contextual labels necessary, body painting accessible with appropriate label, mature games label generally covers content, stream visibility impacted by content labels. This is from Twitch. Question, what is changing with this new update? Answer, some types of content that were prohibited will now be allowed on Twitch. If appropriately labeled, these changes include previously prohibited but now allowed with label. Content with deliberately highlighted breasts, buttocks or pelvic region even when fully clothed. Streamers found it difficult to determine what was prohibited and what was allowed and often evaluating whether or not a stream violated this portion of the policy was subjective. <laughs> evaluated, yeah, otherwise known as exploited when you don't speak bullshit. In addition, the former sexually suggestive content policy was out of line with industry standards. Would you mind telling us what industry that is exactly? And resulted in female streamers being disproportionately penalized because I'm not reading your leftist language, Twitch. You can feck off. I feel dirty enough just reading your degenerate TOS over here. Fictionalized, drawn, animated, or sculpted, fully exposed breasts and or genitals or buttocks, regardless of gender. There is a thriving artist community on Twitch and this policy was overly punitive and did not reflect the impact of the content. I've seen some of it on Twitter, by the way. I literally can't show it on here. It's basically full-on hentai material. Erotic dances that involve disrobing or disrobing gestures, such as strip teasers. Like I told you, the gateway drug. Popular dances such as twerking, grinding, and pole dancing are now allowed without a label. Popular, aka it gets its views and moolah, therefore greenlight the damn thing. Question. With what updates to the sexual content policy are artistic depictions of nudity allowed? Answer. Content with a focus on fictionalized, drawn, animated, or sculpted sexual body parts, regardless of gender, such as nude figure drawing, are allowed with a sexual themes label. However, fictionalized sexual acts or bashing one out is still prohibited, aka we is going to scout the place for future artists should he make more games, because Romanians need the ushikushi ladies. Now, I want to go through some more of this, because to describe this TOS as a clusterfuck is the understatement of the century. Look at this. Question. Is body painting on the breasts and buttocks allowed on Twitch? Answer. As long as attire requirements are met, body painting on the breasts and buttocks is allowed with a sexual themes label. Let me try and understand this, uh, Twitch. So basically, you can paint on the bums and the booba, but you need to be wearing the appropriate attire for that. What being what? Like, basically covering certain orifices, I imagine, and nipples. That's... Is that the appropriate attire? Because how else would you paint on those areas then? Am I the only one who thinks this TOS makes no freaking sense at all? Yet if you go to the FAQ for that, it says dependent on the location and should be publicly appropriate for the context of the location and activity they are broadcasting. How the fuck does that make any sense? How does the location and the activity factor into this when you're painting on body parts? How would the location play a factor in you greenlighting this? Following paragraph stating, they don't have any specific rules about clothing, but it ends with nudity exposing or focusing on genitals, buttocks, or nipples, and attire attended to be sexually suggestive are prohibited. Are you taking the piss, Twitch? This DOS is holier than the freaking Vatican, for heaven's sakes. Actually, no, no, that one doesn't make sense because the Vatican is a freaking joke these days. Bloody hell. Attire intended to be sexually suggestive are prohibited. Oh, but twerking and grinding is allowed without a label. Hey, and then we see this. The new Twitch guidelines resulted in a spike of nude art on the platform. <laughs> Jeez, I wonder why. I hate modernity. I, I really do. This constant outcry from the whinging gaming journal is about a hint of cleavage. But this kind of BS gets applause and oh, stunning and brave. 
Does anyone remember when Twitch used to be a gaming platform that got incredibly censorious when it came to swearing? Like, hell, there's people banned on that platform to this day for that. But this degeneracy gets a green light. Why? Because the almighty dollar. Again, I hate modernity. Now, having said all of that, I'm not going to condone this, obviously, because I think it's cringe. But I can understand why it exists and why there is a market for this kind of stuff. Because in the last couple of years, the powers that be are trying incredibly hard, and they will fail, by the way, to subvert humanity and destroy any aspect of basic human interaction. And sexuality is part of that. No, they would rather reserve that exclusively for commodification purposes. This is why there's no sensuality in art depictions anymore. No, it's just corporate sludge. I think V said in one video, why can't you have a female that looks like they're under the age of 40? Why do they all look, uh, well, frankly, like Charles Feminist who missed the biological window? Bit of projection there, but, you know, you get my point. But I think of it like this. Picture your place in society like you're surrounded by magnets. Suspended slightly, but you're constantly being pulled and tugged by various magnets from every angle. The problem is, if you shut off some magnets, that energy transfers to other magnets. It doesn't just dissipate into the ether. This is why there is such a boom in the animated tartars and excessively sexualized mods. Because where there is the extreme of no sexuality at all, you will find its opposite, in excess. And that just doesn't appeal to me, frankly, at all. And it's not because I'm a prude or anything. No, it's just the excessive decadence of it all is frankly kind of boring. I like to be teased with sensuality. And when it's just so obvious or full frontal, I just think, eh, okay, now what? What do I have to work for now? It's just all there. When everyone can consume the product, it makes the product less special and valuable. Like, hell, I'll share something funny with all of you. I've received my fair share of, you know, lewd and racy photos, you know, modern day technology and all of that. But I can honestly say I've never shared a single photo ever. And it's not because I'm some honorable gentleman or any of that kind of stuff. No, no, no. It's because I'm a freaking capitalist at the end of the day. And yes, yes, I know honor, trustworthy and all of that kind of stuff. But you do realize market forces and principles still exist outside of the market as well. And they're built on energy expenditure, for heaven's sakes. There's still a skill set involved here. I could never understand the guys who share those photos like it's a stack of collectible cards you show to your peers about your prowess. That's cringe. You're degrading their work like a filthy commie, you stupid hippie. Why the hell would I share the fruits of my efforts with any of you? Have some pride in your work, for heaven's sakes. My charm and skill earn that, and you're not entitled to my labor. Piss off and earn your own, you lazy-ass git. Cheers for watching, and once again, I apologize for nothing.